So as you can see, my buddy Jeremy, he's here. We're gonna go over his car. Sadly, it's the day after the dyno. After the dyno. But I just wanted to get him to go over his car so we can talk about this Craftworks supercharger he has. Yes, we just talk about the Craftworks or everything on the hey, car. Hey, let's talk about everything you've done to it. Oh God, well, I'm not gonna go in any order because I can't remember, but uh, we'll start in the front. We'll just go ahead and start All in the right, front. All right, that sounds good. Uh, Texas Speed Stage 4, 235, 239 cam, uh, 7.4 hardened chromoly push rods, uh, 660 dual valve springs. Obviously, all this goes along with the cam, so we won't get into that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, NGK TR6 uh, plugs, which is good. It's a colder plug, and it actually does really well for boost. Uh, well, while I'm on this. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, let's talk about the supercharger while we're yeah, on Yeah, Craftworks supercharger kit. This is a Rotrex uh, C3891 head unit. Um, these are good for about, uh, they advertise at about 750 horsepower. This one made just under 620 wheel. Uh, actually, yesterday on the dyno, um, and what, 500 and just about 530 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. Um, and this is all under six pounds of boost. This is. Yeah, I mean, he's not even yeah. really pushing a lot of boost. Yeah. This is 5.7 pounds of boost. Um, and then we're thinking about taking it back probably in a few months, uh, honestly, but um, probably a snow meth injection, which yeah, yeah, yeah. Lance says 60 to 70 horsepower off that. Uh, like I said, I feel like you need it. Like yeah. it's, it, it's, it's needed. <clears throat> yeah, and the ZL1 fuel pump back there, which is upgraded from the factory uh, SS pump, but that's starting to get a little frustrated with what we've done to it. <laughs> it didn't take much, but it's already not very happy. So. Yeah. Uh, the methanol is going to help us uh, to not run so many volts off that fuel pump. So, um, what else other than the blower? I was going to ask about your cold air intake, but um, Kraft works cold air intake. <laughs> but uh, you kind of don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Um, Eaton Detroit True Track um, Posi yeah, Track Differential. You've got what 391 gears? Yeah, with AAM factory 391 gears. Um, factory two-piece drive shaft, unfortunately, yeah, that's gonna have too. to change. Stock axles, that's gonna have to change. Uh, Mishimoto baffle catch can. Yes, we. His is just slightly different than mine. Obviously, Camaro and Mustang, but and that's the ghetto mount. It used to mount <laughs> up on the radiator support bracket down here, but obviously, charge pipe got in the yeah. way, and we had to relocate. So. But I mean, if, if you have, if you get this kit, I mean, it's still, it's, it, it's still sturdy. Like it ain't going nowhere. Yeah. So let's talk about this awesome splitter you got right here. Though. That's a that's a Nix Customs front splitter. Got little splitter rods on it. Uh, some ricer stuff, but I mean it looks good though. Like, it looks good. The trailer ate it, so you can barely see it. But that's gonna probably get repainted or wrapped. Um, no. I mean, I'm gonna see if I can. If I can. It's a little. It's a little dark. It kind of got bent up. Like right here, yeah. you see the paint's missing. That's gonna rust soon. Yeah. So I was gonna try to get uh, his Instagram, but it's at Nick Nick's Customs. I'll put it in the video. Yeah. Which I don't even think he's making them anymore. Really? Yeah. So y'all missed out. Yeah. I think his um, wife's having some health problems or something, so he's stopped for a while. I'm sure he's gonna come back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It'll probably be a while. Um. Now. We'll be going to the inside. No, we're not. We will in a second. Now, let's talk about these awesome wide tires you got back here. Oh yeah, can you see? I'm gonna see if I can, if I can get it. I mean, I don't like. Just look at that. Just look at how wide they are. Yeah, those are uh, 315s on a 20-inch wheel. Street tires, of course. MMR 228 uh, Z28 reps. Covered in mud right now. Yeah. Shout out to Lance at Powerhouse <laughs> for hitting that puddle. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's. Well worth the, the mud on the wheel. I mean, if you can tell, we're both going to be powerhouse tuned anyways. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, I guess we'll go to the inside real quick. Yeah, that's fine. That's you. It's dirty. We just got back from a full yeah. road trip, so. Um, I'm not even going to lie to you. Speed Daddy Harness Bar. Uh, that was about $93, $94 on eBay. Um, we got our little uh, four-point harness here. Uh, with the cam lock, you can see that's for uh, going fast and stuff. It's going fast. So you don't jump out of the seat. 
Martin Industries short throw shifter. Um, pretty short shifts, honestly, but it, it shifts nice. It's a little rough, but uh, to be expected, it's not like the factory shifter. So yeah, um, that 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 back seat delete though. Oh yeah, you got a switch in there. You I don't know. It's probably too dark. You guys might not be able to see, but a switch there on the console. That's for the uh, MSD two. Oh, let me see if I can. Which we still got to reroute the box. We had to move that off the factory air box. Yeah, um, I saw that. I was wondering when y'all were gonna do that. Yeah, you have to mount that back up. So give y'all a little. Little better view in here with the little light. I mean, it's a little dark. It's early. Uh, yeah, it's to make the neighbors mad. Yeah, but I mean, like that's most of it, honestly. There's little things here and there. Uh, yeah, BMR control arms. Or sorry, no, uh, BMR trailing arms. Yeah, I've uh, got the control arm. BMR drop springs. Um. I'm sure the list goes on. I yeah. just can't. It, it, it's. A decent amount of work done. Uh, I mean, I, I'd say now with everything. Oh God, spec stage three clutch. There's yeah. probably what do I have in the twelve, thirteen thousand dollars in it with everything. That's including wheels, um, tires, all that. So, but with the, as far as power adders, if you're not including labor, um, I've probably got. And let's do gearing and all that too. Probably like eight or nine. And, and performance mods so we're gonna i know everybody's gonna wonder so what was the final number after the little hiccup with the alternator um let's consult the sheet because i know everybody's gonna be wondering that like what was the final numbers so for everybody wondering all right this is on a standard um, 617 at 6400 RPMs and wow almost 540 I was wrong um, 537 at 52 about 5300 RPM so yeah. that's where the car really shines now is bottom end um, the torque curve is but I was very say, impressive look at, look at that curve day. it's very impressive I mean it's solid Lance did a killer job so. oh yeah yeah it's uh, it's getting up there hopefully with meth uh, we're gonna see uh, right around here on the graph <laughs> yeah so but that's pretty much it honestly <clears throat> i mean we both had a really good day at, at, at the dyno yesterday so and i mean both of our cars did like really really good we can't we can't argue that like both cars shot well his car didn't shock many people it shocked me i mean i was hoping for more but once we started seeing it once it dropped from like 580 one down to like what well, it went down to like 574 I yeah was little, i was a little discouraged and then the last run which darius is going to put a clip in right here the yeah. last run it was aggressive as hell insert clip here uh yeah i was pretty shocked after going from like 574 uh to 617 and the torque is massive we started at 497 foot pounds of torque and ended up almost 540 so yeah. that's where it's it's it yeah I mean, feel it's, in the pants. It's it's sure. it's a violent it's a violent ride. We were riding back last night, and he got on it, and it was just there was no way I was keeping up. It's violent as hell. Yeah, but. you you can see this guy's six hundred and almost six hundred and twenty horsepower. Up here, powerhouse performance, Griffin, North Carolina. Getting the car back for a retune. Darius is ruining my video because he's vlogging at the same time over there. Yeah, we're, we're vlogging. Simultaneously vlogging, but. We got the car up here, um, got the Mustang going on the dyno, no tuning, just wants to get a baseline. What is going on? About to see those creepy like nurses walking around? What in the world? Anyways, hope you guys can still hear me. Uh, JJ got his Challenger here, he's just here for the ride. But drop a comment below what you guys think it's going to make. I'm hoping to get about seven to eight pounds off the new pulley. Uh, we made 581 on the 80 millimeter on our last dyno, and we've dropped down two sizes to the 70. So, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm gonna guess anywhere from six to eight pounds, and it's kind of a big range, but um, something like that. So drop a comment below, what do you guys think it's gonna make? Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wait. They're putting the injectors in, right? They're putting the injectors in right now around back, so once that's in, the car's gonna go ahead and go on the dyno. Also need to make sure that the new or the belt 
Also got to make sure that the belt is tight enough. Uh, unfortunately, the tensioner was maxed out, so um, it feels pretty solid. A little bit of slack in it, but the guys are back there, like I said, doing the injectors, and they're going to check that out as well, make sure everything's good before we start getting some pulls in. But either way, injectors in, base tune is loaded. What's up, Darius? Is YouTube guys <laughs> and girls? But so he's about to go out for a quick test drive, uh, data log for a minute, and uh, sounds like he's backing up now see what this thing does obviously I'm gonna go on the dyno and see we're thinking uh 620 is what Lance is saying SAE um, corrected maybe 650 it sounds good though <laughs> it sounds really good So that was the second pull uh, with the tune on it. It's only making, what do you say, Lance? 5.2 pounds? Yeah. Yeah, 5.2 pounds. Yeah, maybe 5.7 right now. Yeah, I turned it all the way to 6,700. 5.7 pounds? Yeah. I made it at 6,700. You think that's not going to overspin it too bad? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the blower's rated for, man, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. 5. Point what? Seven? 5.7. 5. 5.7 at 6,700 RPM. It made good torque. It made 518 torque right Holy now, shit. It's, uh, the fuel pump's just not keeping up right now, man. It's, I'm, I'm yeah. pretty good with that. Yeah. Now, if we, if we pulled the filter and it made more boost, is that going to hurt it with the fuel? Yeah. Okay, it really, so. It really don't need to be pushing your order right now. It's, it, it dropped all the way down to 32, 32 PSI right now. Where's the it's unsafe spot? Under 30? Uh, <laughs> like 35. Yeah, oh god. Yeah, yeah it's, it's too low. But with myth and that, with the torque you're making there, you if it'll carry it out, which it should with the myth, no problem. I mean, you, I'd say you probably make 640 with myth on it. It's, it's just lean. It's, it's running out of fuel on the big end. You can see it's, it's sloping up here. I mean, it's it's getting all the way up to 12.9. Mm. AFR is, is too. All right. So we're still here a couple hours later. We had to pull the car off the dyno. Um, we thought originally that the fuel pump wasn't putting out enough voltage, uh, but actually what ended up turning out happened, it actually, let's backtrack. After the uh, the fuel pump we thought wasn't acting right, we thought it was the alternator, because our voltage was at idle about 11 volts. So, um, but that lead or ground on the alternator, which you guys aren't gonna be able to see it, but. There's a lead on that, and that bolt actually ended up being loose, or the nut on it. So, um, tighten that up. Yeah. So we tighten that up, and we are at 14 volts, and we're gonna put it back on the dyno right now. I think we're sitting at um, SAE. We're at 580 um, horsepower and 518 foot pounds. Or actually, you said 520. 520 yeah, foot pounds of torque. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see if we can't squeeze. Um, well, corrected. We're probably about 600 now. Yeah, we're, we're gonna see on. Over, yeah, so. we're gonna see on uh, SAE if we can get this to 600. Which hey, and guys, it goes to show you. You know, with this right here, sometimes you feel like a nut, and sometimes you don't. And sometimes you are the nut. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it goes to show you though. Some that small can make a huge difference. Yeah. You know, so. so it was basically cutting in and out, which also describes like um, or explains when I was driving the car would jump lunge. like lunge it would yeah. cut in and out which is probably why because it was losing bolts catching losing mm -hmm. bolts to eventually um i'm assuming the vibrations probably back that nut all the probably way out so, so and, i mean because that, that affected a lot of things not only did it affect your fuel pump voltage you know getting enough fuel up to the motor it also affected the mass air reading you know yep. the reading of the pcm what, what kind of voltage it was reading through the system that's a lot of things that affected so it's understandable yep. for that problem but it just goes show you that check the small things too don't always think it's a big thing oh yeah but now we're actually about to go back inside. Darius is going to get a baseline reading on the Mustang. So we're going to see what he, uh, what he makes. Uh, 500 horsepower. 500. <laughs> completely stopped. So. <laughs> but we'll be right back. I'm going to run in there Just before I miss it. Stopped. All right, 
right guys, so here's where we're at, 600, 521. Um, he's playing with the um, air fuel ratio meter in the exhaust. I think that's clogged up, so uh, gonna do one more pull and see how it goes. We will be right back. Alright guys, final numbers right now, 617, 6400 RPMs, 537 foot-pounds of torque, about 5300 RPMs. But we're going to finish getting ready. Yeah, we got to roll. Yeah, so say peace, Jeremy. Peace, Darius' YouTubers. <laughs> Subscribers. <laughs> I'm out. Peace. Yeah. I don't believe in destiny, I just do what's best for me Don't listen to my enemies, they're just full of jealousy Yeah, this legacy, you gon' see what's left of me You gon' see success in me, you ain't seen the rest of me I just me. wanna be the best at what I know, better than the rest, just watch me grow Put me to the test and watch me go, this is my quest, I'ma make it known They call me obsessive, oh I know, call me selective with my notes Call me aggressive with my flow